Come on, Irene. Da, da, da. Hey, hey. This is how I get myself prepared. In the mood to film. Okay, we're getting ready now. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like, okay, cool. Hey, best friend. So here in Lael Soul. It's starting to get a lot cooler outside. The leaves will start changing at some point here soon. And it's really giving me like fall pumpkin spice latte vibes. And typically in America, like it's already July, fall stuff everywhere is smelling like cinnamon. So I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little bit homesick. I was getting just, I was getting a little bit. So I picked up a few things. I thought cobwebs were kind of fall. I don't know. And then we have a pumpkin wreath so you know i'm trying to be as like autumn vibes as i can right now so if there's any best friends in seoul go out get you some little cute fall decorations for your place because they're cheap anywho i wanted to try making a pumpkin bread but um this this is what we have to work with like that's a microwave microwave I do have to run and go get a few ingredients before we start the process. And I'm not really a good baker as it is, or like not very good at cooking low-key, so we'll see how this is gonna go. Also, I'm going to the Shinsegae like world market, which is basically like where the rich bougie people shop. I don't normally go there, I usually go to like a supermarket or like Latte Mart, but I thought it would be a fun experience for us today, so period, let's go. As much as Shinsegae is cool, um, I needed to buy measuring spoons and like a bowl as well. And they were gonna charge me like $40. So I got my cinnamon and I booted out of there. We're back home. So let me introduce you to my cooking space. Um, here's the kitchen. So we got the stove top, we got the sink, oven slash microwave. Micro really is confusing to me still. But now for everyone's favorite part of my videos, the grocery haul, because apparently all I do is go out and buy groceries. The recipe calls for cinnamon and pumpkin spice, but I was even surprised to find this because like a Latte Mart and I don't know, I just noticed this is like a trend with like Korean supermarkets. It's like their baking section is tiny. That's okay, we're working with what we got. So I got cinnamon. We have a Betty Crocker Super Moist, and then we have pumpkin paste. Betty Crocker practically owns American Supermarket. Like she is Target, she is Walmart, she is Kroger, she is Whole Foods. I, she's not Whole Foods. But I ended up going to Itaewon and I found her in a foreign supermarket and it literally made my day. Like I went in and I was surrounded by Lace Chips, Betty Crocker, and that is also where I found the pumpkin paste. So vibes. I probably only needed one of these because it's 400 grams, which is like, I don't, I don't know. What do I look like? But I ended up getting two just in case I wanted to make more pumpkin bread. So let's get started. If you ever want to make this recipe, I'll put it in the description. I'm going to change the angle so I can be like a real cooking channel. Okay. Because I'm not disgusting. I'm going to go ahead and wash the bowl I got from Daiso because gross. So first I got to add everything but the cake mix. Also, a lot of this stuff is in ounces, um, even though this is a English recipe. Do people in Britain measure in cups? Hi, Katie Renee, baking expert. So we got our pumpkin. I'm so sorry. This looks like a jack-o'-lantern. I had too much Taco Bell. Maybe this is just the vibe. This is what we're working with currently. Yummy! So like I was saying earlier, I've been getting like really homesick, but like homesick over like the most random things ever. I feel like people are gonna hate me for this, but I got homesick over missing things like Canes, Taco Bell, Panda Express. Electric chair. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? That's literally just cheap, crappy Asian food. Listen, I'm not a baking YouTuber. I'm not Rosanna Pancino, nor am I Rachel Ray. But for now, I'm Katie Renee. Okay, if this isn't enough pumpkin, then I don't know what is. A tea, three fourths of a teaspoon? I have a singular teaspoon. I have a half a teaspoon. Same thing, same thing. Oh, this smells beautiful. I don't know who all does this, but my mom always made me cinnamon toast growing up and this, mmm. Yeah. Also, they don't have pumpkin spice lattes here, which is the most white thing I could say ever. But like, it's a tradition. Just eyeballing it. I feel like I have to make up with more cinnamon because I don't have any like pumpkin spice. So 
We just put in a crap ton of cinnamon. Half a cup of olive oil, that's a lot. Someone asked me what my favorite thing to do in Korea is and I do not have an answer for that. I literally have no clue. Now I need the eggs. Oh no, I guess I should be saying this in Korean, huh? Dur. Say it. Three eggs, three eggs. My favorite thing to do in Korea is just vibe. Now I have to whisk this beautiful concoction. Yeah, 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 okay. Trust the process, trust the process, trust the process. Like who invented the whisk? Like why is it like that? These are conversations I would just be having with myself if I weren't having them with you right now. So just remember that. Oh my God, it smells like pumpkin pie. Which was originally what I was going to make was pumpkin pie. But apparently Seoul doesn't believe in pie crust because no one had pie crust anywhere. Yeah, yeah, okay. Awesome. The vibes are not with the whisk. We stand spoons. She's a batter. So someone actually asked, have I had any like bad experiences while I've been in Seoul? Which I don't think I've had like, just like a bad experience or anything. It's just things that you're like, well, that's, that, that was rude. But I don't know if that's just cause it was a rude person or it's because like they don't like me. I've talked to all of my friends about this as well. They're from London, America, Switzerland. It's like people here have no shame in like, just like staring at you. I don't know what it is. I remember I was going down an escalator one day and the people going up on the opposite side, it was like so in sync. They all just turn and just like wide eyed. And I was like, am I like, And that's not just me, like I said, it's like everyone else that I've talked to as well. The angles I'm giving you in this video, I mean, come on. I just started pressing buttons on here and I figured out how to preheat it. Let's go. In the meantime, I'm gonna butter this bad boy. So to update you on my life, my new obsession has been Sailor Moon. Um, the old like 90s version, not the 2014 like crystal. I think I'm gonna put some brown sugar and some cinnamon on top cause I'm feeling fancy. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's gonna expand like crazy, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going 35, we'll check back on it. For now, I'm gonna update you on my life for a second. So as we've discussed in the past, I have this gorgeous view happening right out here. Anyways, I have a couple alley cats that love to come visit me and sometimes I'll throw a little bread at them. I know I shouldn't be doing that. They'd never really eat the bread, but it's just there as like a peace offering. I'm always like, hey bestie. And I sit there and I just talk to the cat. I'm turning into a crazy cat lady. I understand that, but it's a vibe and I love them. <gasps> Look at her! Okay, she kind of looks burnt on top, but hopefully it'll be okay. Come here, ma'am. Look at this burnt beauty! Oh, she's so cute. Okay, wait. Oh, yum. Like, the burnt parts don't even taste burnt. They're, like, spicy. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed joining me on this little endeavor making this beautiful pumpkin bread. It actually turned out way better than I expected, so um, let me know if you ever try out this recipe. You won't be trying, let's be real. As always, remember to be kind, stay safe, wash your hands, and then register to vote, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye besties.